So hi everybody, we're looking at Tony for now. What a ball striker this guy is. Hitting it left to right, he's hitting it right to left. He likes to fade it, but he hits it both ways. He's averaging 310 yards off the tee, and he's absolutely holding everything. Now, this guy is a money-making machine, and I dare say we'll see him win a couple of majors in the future. Very compact swing, we'll get into that in a second. I love, I love the motion, I really do. Uh, great speed, hits a lot of those sawn off shots like uh, Tommy Fleetwood. And uh, yeah, if you're hitting it 310 yards and you're fading it and you're holding everything, you're probably going to go okay. But look at the speed and the balance. What a golf swing. Now, looking at it when you break it down a little bit, uh, yeah, some of the things that I like about it, especially with the general public, we've got around 70% of people coming in steep around the world, and that's a fact. You know, when we get ourselves in a backswing position, it's a little bit easier to hit it. You know, uh, we make better mistakes, narrower mistakes. And people say, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, how we swing. Look at Jim Furyk. You know, you're looking at a very skilled athlete. It's like a, it's like a tool pro is like a cat, right? You throw it up in the air, it spins around and lands on its feet. But when you're looking at the normal public, it's like throwing a dog up in the air and twist it around. It's going to land on its head. So people, when they swing back in a, in a fashion that's not that great, they can't find their way back home. Now, let's have a look at this shoulder plane. All right, we're going to have a look at the numbers here. 48 degrees. Right, so you've got to consider if I get myself into similar positions, what's going to happen. So 48 degrees, lead arm in at 38 degrees. So it's 10 degrees lower. Okay. Now from here, there's an advantage. It flattens out easier by itself. Okay. So with higher swings and very flat shoulder turns, it's hard to match stuff up. Right. So this shoulder plane is just going to come straight back down. Look at this trail elbow. It's almost situated on the original shaft plane. And from there, as we move down, the, the elbow will trace back down. Now guys, you can film this on your mobile phones. You know, a lot of people aren't filming their swings on their mobile phones, but you can get in there on your slow-mo and you can have a look at some of these positions. Now see that sharp plane there, right through the trail elbow. And what a fantastic position. Now obviously this guy's he's got a slightly open position. He does like to fade it. Now this guy's hardly ever hitting it left. So he's got a very neutral position coming back down. Great leg work. Great footwork, and uh, you'll see him always pulling his weight back into his heels and the legs straightening. What I love about the swing, though, is that the face—it's a very passive release, you know, through the golf balls. In all these videos, he's not hasn't got a big, strong release. It's a very passive release, but it's uh, just a repeating, a repeating machine. And when we have a look, when we have a look at other players, that a lot of players are in very similar positions to these. And we see Lee Westwood, one of the best ball strikers over the last 20 years. You know, we put a line up at the top of the head here, and we'll see similar things that when we get to the top of the swing, and we see the shoulder plane here, we'll get it down, 46 degrees, lead arm is in at 38 to so 8 degrees lower. And when you get to the top of this swing, it's it's uncanny, uh, this, this style of swing. We, have it, we can see that the shoulder into the belt buckle, we've got 33. And we got the shoulder here into the belt buckle at 35. The question is, you know, if I get myself in these positions, will I hit it better? Well, why are these guys in these positions? They're not hitting it bad. And that's what I mean about people slicing the ball, uh, not getting their wrist alignments correct, and not coming down and getting this club to shallow out into the position. We're here we're using evidence-based material. All right. Now, on, there's different swing patterns, there's different swing styles. But you've got to get your hands on the right information. Guys, please check out worldclassgolf.com, world-class golf uh, instruction. We've got over 700 videos where we teach you guys how to teach yourselves, you know, really using lots of slow-mo videos, pitching and for advanced players. And we've got just a series for novice players, bunker uh, series. And seven, as I said, 700 videos and many more coming. Guys, check out worldclassgolf.com.